What if Deku had Bendy's powers? The trailer. So in this one, he is going to be a hero, and we start this off in the last day of middle school. Bako tries to hit him in the back of the head. He simply uses ink powers to turn his head into ink, and his fist goes straight through, hitting his hand on the desk. As he shakes it, as he then tries to go for an explosion on Deku, as that also goes through him. Really, Bakugo? I thought you would have learned by now. You can't hit me. As he scoffs, yeah, right. All your good force to dodge. As he just smiles at Bakugo. There is one difference with Deku in this UA, in that his hair is black instead of green. As Bakugo to his, goes to his seat, and basically the events go on as canon. As we go on to under that bridge where he gets attacked by the sludge villain. What to do today? Maybe I can work on some ink paintings, or maybe I could prepare training for UA. As he's thinking and talking aloud, the sludge villain shows up. Sorry, kid, but he does the same little thing where he wants to take over the body to use to hide from All Might. As he then tries to, Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, but that's not going to work, as he turns himself into ink, pretty much canceling each other out. And he just reforms in, in his little Looney Tune form, and then just hits him with a big hammer, s sending him flying in pieces all over the bridge. Home run! As he skips away. Now that was fun. Of course, All Might shows up about uh, a few seconds after he left and captures the villain, seeing that he was knocked out. He still has no idea who did it, of course. As we go to, well, Deku, Bendy. Just Deku. As he's, well, walking by the beach. You know what? What would be good training is to just clear this beach up. Especially, no one's going to see me really use my quark since it's too, well, filthy a mess. So, perfect way to train. As he then just starts to train within the area for the next couple of months. As then we see Deku in his beast form while just smashing them. And he just tosses the fridge over as it destroys. As he calms himself down and gets out of it. Whew. I can't stay in that form for long. As then he hears a voice. Neither can you in my form. Who said that? Well, he looks around, trying to look for who said that. But can't see anyone. Must be my imagination, as he scratches his head. Well, anyway, let's clear up these, well, trash. As basically, he makes ink under them, and they just start to sink into the ink. Kind of like dissolving into the ink. Great, uh, I can dispose those at the dump. Here in a little bit. I gotta get home or mother's going to get mad at me. As he goes and, well, just uh, goes on his lucky day and starts heading back to his house. He goes to meet with his mother. So what's for dinner, Mom? Uh, we're just having some hamburgers, dear. Why, thank you. Um, I'll be down in a moment. Yes, uh, go ahead. As she's cooking, as she as we go to his room and we see pictures of Bendy and all that, because he took a real interest when he discovered his quark into this old type of realistic thing that was set in like the 1900s, the form of Bendy, the cartoon and all that. As he got interested in that when he found out his quark was ink, so he would make some of his attacks look cartoonish. As we see on his bed, like, his own personal little, well, writing of Bendy and all that. As he looks at it, just needs a little bit more ink, as he then just makes an ink bottle and just points a feather in it and starts writing down with that. As he does, there we are, done. The letter is done. I'll go ahead and send a pre-application form through this. As he just sinks it into his palm. It should show up at uh, the reservation office for UA in about 
eh, a minute or so. As we just see one guy working at a desk, as then a letter just pops up through ink, and just he's like, so scared he falls out of the back of his chair. What was that? As he gets back up and sees a letter for UA. I'm just going to guess that's someone's quark. Or I need an exorcist for this place. Alright, done. Time to go eat. As he goes to eat with his mother. And then he starts hearing the voice again. But this time, he doesn't hear it. But someone else does. Ah, oh, man. This little, well, what? What would I say? Host of ours is uh, too nice. As then we just see the big beast bendy. <laughs> yes, yes. I know you would like to destroy more. At least you got to destroy the stuff at that what? Wreck of a dump? Beach? <laughs> yes, yes. You'll have your fun. So will I. Once we find a way to, well, consume him, or take control of him. I think it would be easier just to bring him into the ink and just keep him here. But unfortunately, this is his body, so he has more control than we do. I know you can't speak, but why do you have to make that noise? Ah, uh, fine. Well, one day we'll get free of this internal prison, and we'll have control over his body. As the beast one looks over, ah, yes, then you can destroy all the towns or whatever you want. Although the boy is currently keeping us trapped here, he probably doesn't even know we exist by the, by me just whispering to him. Ah, yes, that could play into our advantage. Ah, ah. For what? You're thinking those hamburgers are good, as they're just watching, well, Inko and Izuku eat. It's been such a long time since we've had a meal. But we'll have plenty once we're free. After all, we are this boy's quark. But we'll have to wait. Ah! Okay, that is enough out of you. As then, uh, he just makes a cage with the beast as he tries to break out. <laughs> Yeesh. Sometimes I can't even understand his own language. As anyway, uh, Deku gets a feeling, like someone is looking. Uh, Mom, do you... Do we have a friend over or a guest over? No, dear? Oh. Well, I'll be going to UA uh, exams in a few months. Well, that's good. I hope you pass. Don't worry, Mom, as he smiles and gives her a thumbs up. I'm going to pass, 100%. And that is the end of the What If Deku Had Bendy's Powers trailer. Hopefully you understand, and hopefully you'll like and subscribe.